Welcome to our channel, Science in a Nutshell, for juniors 4, 5, and 6. Senses at work. Your senses help you to communicate with your surrounding. You have five senses. Hearing, touch, sight, smelling, and taste. You hear with your ears and you touch with your skin, you see with your eye, and you smell with your nose, and you taste wonderful taste of food and all the food that you like with your tongue. Senses also helps you to know where the danger is and to keep away from it. So when you touch a flower and it has pines, you keep your hand away. And when you touch something that is hot, you feel that it's hot and you can keep your hands away as well. When you feel danger, you can run. So it helps you to keep away from danger. Do you think that the living organism that only have senses is the human being? Actually, no. Also, animals have senses. They have senses just like the human. However, some animals have sharper senses of hearing or sight, or their strength lies in some other senses that enable them to communicate with each other using sounds or movements so that they are able to adapt to their environments and can survive. So now we know that all animals use their senses to communicate with their world and also to adapt to their environment. So we have the foxes, they have hearing and sight senses so they can keep away from danger, avoid danger. And the chameleon, it can search for the food using its sight and taste. And last but not least, we have the monkey. Monkey uses all of its senses, touching, smelling, sight, taste, hearing, all of them, in order to identify things. They just do like us. Let's now talk about a very interesting thing, which is the dolphins. How they communicate with each other in the total darkness underneath the water. Dolphins use echolocation just like the bats use echolocation in the dark nights. Dolphin use the same thing. To detect the location of other living organisms or objects in the water. So, it helps them to find their prey. And they depend on echo. Echo means the reflection or the returning back bouncing of sounds. So, now we know that dolphins depend on echolocation. They send a sound to the object and it returns back. It returns back in the form of an echo. This echo, if it comes back fast, then the object is so near. And if it comes back slowly, then the object is far. If it, did, it doesn't come back at all, this means that there is no object and they can move freely without being afraid of anything.